We won't get anywhere in science unless people wonder and think outside the box. We are putting gummy bears in liquids or like powders to see uh, what the reaction would be. I put gummy bears in Kool-Aid with three packets of sugar, really sugary, and then we put a gummy bear in there and then we observe. It was their idea. What if we did this? I wonder what would happen if this happened. And so as a team, we just decided, okay, let's find out. That's why I like GTSD because it's out of the blue. Just random, but fun. Oh, that's cool. The vinegar one, we couldn't see anymore because it basically vanished. And then the water got really huge. The salt shrunk a little and the baking soda just looked like a bear lying in the snow making a snow angel. Well, they had to write what they thought would happen, write down all their questions. I learned that water expands gummy bears, salt water shrinks gummy bears, uh, vinegar like demorphs gummy bears, so it just kind of makes it into like a blob. It no longer has like a shape. I love science because you can do stuff that like no one has ever done before. I really like to touch interesting, slimy things. We're trying to teach them to think like that and to um, change the world someday maybe. You know, so they have to be good organizers, they have to be able to write down their data and take good notes and then draw conclusions of what happened and they understand that their prediction, their hypothesis may not have been right and that's okay because scientists learn as much or more from their mistakes than they do from what works. Who would have thought a little gummy bear and some salt water would make them happy? But it is, it's amazing to them. This kind of school just fits right into kids' minds. You know, this is where they're going as long as we don't stifle it.